Christian Perez, just 19, two years the younger of Cabrera. Heights the same, reach one inch advantage for Perez. We are in the lightweight division. We'll see a lot of lightweights at the 155. You can see Cabrera came a pound, 0.6 over. It is Perez in the green, inside of the leg kick there by Cabrera to open up proceedings here. And Perez in the green shorts in the orthodox stance. Cabrera in the southpaw stance. Well, Cabrera left his head in there after he was being aggressive and he caught a couple from Perez. But you already see more activity from Cabrera than we saw certainly in the first round in that controversial defeat to Ricardo Ariola. Cabrera's got double underhooks. If he can pull him off the fence and finish that takedown, he'd be a better off. He's looking to separate. Cabrera from Mexicali. Perez from Ensenada. Nice deep kick by Cabrera. I really like what I'm seeing so far. Inside kick there, you could hear it throughout the Cabrera arena here. Cabrera shakes his head no, throws a nice one-two and gets out of the way. Short punch! Big right from Perez. Cabrera's trying to survive, and now he is taking a whole lot of hammer shots. Molina thinking about stopping it. He may have no choice. Cabrera trying to get that arm. Oh, what a big elbow. Big old elbow. And this is that old school ground and pound type of fight that I was talking about. This is where Perez wants to be. He wants to be throwing bombs in the guard. He don't care. Oh, down he goes. He just wants to punch to a pass. And he's inside. Cleared the guard. Cabrera surviving, although you just saw an explosive array from Christian Perez. Christian Perez looking to tee off a bit. Nice oh. short elbow. Setting it up again. Maybe looking to take him out, we'll see. Again, he's holding the jaw, spins the face, and drops that elbow. Gonna pin down that arm, getting in a... In a Nope, doesn't quite have that crucifix position. Perez is so lean in comparison to Cabrera, but Cabrera fighting off his back. And he's trying to get his guard back, but he's holding on to the head, and I say it a lot, but when you're holding on and headlocking the head, you're not controlling the rest of their body. You gotta get an underhook. You gotta get off of your uh, back, flat on your back. You're not gonna do anything. Ruas Perez now to his feet. Just non-stop activity from him. Challenging Cabrera to get to his feet. Not gonna let him, how about the step over? Confused him, went for an axe kick, but didn't even go for it, just went the other way. Beautiful job, nice and tricky. More hammer throws, I mean, he's a very smart fighter. He just needs to stay there in that north-south position, continue to go towards the head. If he wants to secure his position, there you go. Ask and he shall receive. Nicely done by Perez. Oh, he cleared him there. Now he, he's in the, on the high ground here. He's got to finish him. He's got a little over 90 seconds left to go. He can finish him here. Cabrera withstanding it as best he can. Despite the movement from Perez, just finding his way uh, clockwise to find some openings. Cabrera was trying to hold onto the head and bridge and try to try reverse to get that head. arm. Didn't work out. Nicely done, retaining his top position is Christian Puas Perez in the green shorts. And Sal Cabrera just hanging on. Trying to get his guard back, trying to advance his position. It's all about Perez, very aggressive, an old school fighter, and we're seeing that, seeing that in living color here, live on the zone, exclusively on our card from Mexicali. Nicely done, nice cage walk by Cabrera. This is his opportunity to advance his position, right. and he's back to the feet. Well done. The crowd likes it for the local boy. 30 seconds left to go in the first round. Let's see what he can do. Cabrera wobbly, and he brings with that big head kick. Blocked by Perez. Oh, nice that uppercut, uppercut got through. I like it. Nice. Oh, he's on.
Oh, still. Perez smells blood. Up against the cage Big. as we're approaching 10 seconds to go in this opening round that has been Perez Plus. Nice, nicely done. Dumped. Oh, gorgeous. Straight in the mount. Going for it anyways. Oh, man, that was beautiful. Nice head position. And that's How about this kid? Cabrera. He's wincing when he got chucked down. Very beautiful easy. reversal. He's done. He's a dreamer. He wants to excel in this sport. So far, so good in his combate debut. Perez with the foot on the pedal again. And Cabrera threw, but then got caught. Almost caught Perez there. Perez, no respect. Every shot, bad intentions. And straight kick right at the chin. Big looping left for Cabrera. Lands, does not land. Excuse me. Nice head kick. That's that a good head slightly kick. Slightly blocked, but it was good. The head kick getting up. He's really good with that uppercut. I'd like to see him throw that a bit more. Picking up that lead leg. Sure did. Now he's at Cabrera in survival mode. And here comes Perez. Almost that heel catching the upright Perez. Perez fighting the legs. And I know that he's comfortable being oh. in that guard position with the slams. But he needs to watch out. Not get too overzealous because Saul can lock up an arm bar at any time, especially with those arms trapped right there in the T-zone. Looking for that slam, but trying to put a lot of weight up. Nicely done. Way to recognize that Saul's only desperate move would be a Hail Mary arm bar. He saw that, and he moves straight into side control. And he has it on the ground, a practitioner of jiu-jitsu. Going for knee on belly, but goes back into side control, and Saul Cabrera, black shorts, trying to do it again, use the cage, cage walk to advance his position. But Perez, so smart, so, such a high fight IQ, pulls him off the cage. Woo! And almost gets reversed, but he doesn't because Perez does the right thing and just continues to follow his underhook. Puts Saul Cabrera right back on his back. Beautifully done. This is a 180 degree Ooh. turn from Cabrera's last fight. It's been activity. Granted, he has been on the receiving end of a lot of it. He is kicking away on his back at the legs of Perez. It seemed like he had a little success with that. And Saul, way to be. The triangle. Yeah, way to, way to always not let him get his, his guard so easily. You know, he's always doing a really good job of defending him from being able to pass completely. Let's see if the young Perez uh, continues with some new ideas, maybe running out of a couple. Saul as again with side control. Cabrera trying to use the fence to advance his position. Oh, now he can't have his feet in there, and Hector Molina will dislodge them. Perez trying to do everything that he can to advance his position, but Perez is doing a great job of keeping him pinned against the Jaula canvas. Smart, not letting him suck up okay. a reverse triangle. Molina trying to get up Cabrera's feet off the cage. And I'm not seeing enough here to the point that I'm like impressed by either one. I'd like to see a stand up. Maybe being considered by Molina as Perez just not showing the activity that he did in the first round, content just to take some of the, uh, the starch out here. There's a big nice. right hand, followed by a left. Four punches, all making a connection. Big hammers, big giant right hand, nicely done. Lands right on the chin of Saul Cabrera. And Cabrera spent most of this fight on his back. Oh, he tried to try to go for that ankle. There's blood around the nose and in the nose of Cabrera. Nice. Big right hand into the body. Cabrera needs to get back up to his feet because he's not doing much there. Ooh. Again, he's going for that. Omoplata. You could see that a little ankle hold, he uh, disengaged. Right back into side control, though, and he pays for it. That right arm underneath. He needs to keep walking to the north-south head position, and he does. Beautifully done by Perez. He's comfortable there as he looks to get something, maybe putting on some designs of some sort of choke, maybe of the anaconda variety, we don't know, but he continues to switch from side to north-south. Nice, way to trap the arm of Cabrera. But Cabrera gets his arm back. All right, 40 seconds to go in the second round. It's been on the ground predominantly, and it's been Cabrera exclusively with his back there. 
and Saul trying to use the cage to advance his position. Flat on his back, he's not really doing much. But then again, Perez is not being able to get his punches off as well. So, I mean, it's kind of a stalemate at this point. Saul's doing a really good job of Big locking knee. up Perez in every position so that he can't tee off and from anywhere. Heading towards the end of round number two. See if there's any more. Nope, that's it. The workload etched on the face of Prodigio Cabrera. Perez comes flying out in round three, takes the legs away. Chop that leg down just like an ax in a cherry tree. Beautifully done by Perez. Saul needs to make it a point to not get taken down here, to stand and bang on the feet because that's when he's doing his best. He can't get taken down. He needs to get his punches off. He can't be on the timing of Perez. He needs to implement his own game plan. Big oh. knee catches Cabrera's brow. But he eats a big right for it. Ooh, see, beautiful head kick. Lands, it's, it's flush, it's good. And to how athletic of him to be able to right. flick it up there that quickly, you know? He's got a nice, fast head kick. Perez trying to change levels. He just wiped out that lead leg. Goes straight up route one there with that one. Misses everything, though. Short jab to follow. Oh! oh. Hello! Hey. Cabrera's back! That's what I'm saying. He Big left best. hand. He does the best when he's not on the timing of Perez. And that caught Perez's attention. Now Perez changes some angles. Yes. Head kick finds its way. We got a fight brewing here in round three. Glancing right hand, left hand connects. It's Cabrera the aggressor. Cabrera's really impressing me this round, and he's showing more than I've ever seen before, and he does the best when he implements his own game plan. A big yes. looping overhead, yes. and then the kicking game starts to come into view. Beautifully done by Saul Cabrera. I like to see this. He's a good kid. Perez coming up empty here the last 60 seconds or so. Is he gassed? Is he tired? Oh, nice one, two. Another good catch. Beautifully done by Saul. Not going to go out that easy in his hometown of Mexicali. Oh, 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 oh. Speaking that of not one going connected. down. Oh, Lord. Can Cabrera survive a third barrage? Is he going to be able to catch his bearings? Looks like he got his bearings back. He's covering up, though. He looks at the ref like, aren't you going to stop this? But he's was doing that, a good job at defending himself. Cabrera so hard to move. And <sighs> Perez, his first good punch of this round, or first good strike, I should say, catching a Cabrera and putting him down via the kick. He used the strike that uh, Perez was using against him, and he just hit him with his own shot. Beautifully done. Sinking the hooks, the hooks in, looking in to there. flatten out the back with those nice uh, strikes. He's got it. It's over. Choke. Rear naked choke. And Perez, first time he really tried that, it worked. And that's it. Damas y caballeros, la esquina azul aplica una estrangulación, mata león. Obligando a su rival a darse por vencido con un tiempo oficial de 2 minutos 31 segundos del tercero y último asalto. Ladies and gentlemen, the blue corner sinks in a rear naked choke, forcing his opponent to tap with an official time of 2 minutes 31 seconds of the third and final round. The winner, by way of submission, el vencedor por sumisión en su debut profesional, el Pua. Christian!